Hi friends, uh, I recorded this <laughs> funny animation today, I still can't stop laughing every time I watch it and few of you asked me how I did it, so I thought I will record a very fast short tutorial. So if you head to my page which is um, chris.art and go to helpers, uh, you can find this helper I made for you. And over here you can see there is a face animation Google Club. Just um, just head to it and uh, I will close this one so we start from the beginning. And make sure you are connected, like mine connects by default, but if yours just says connect, make sure you press over here so you see RAM and disk. So and now you, go, you need to prepare a little bit before we run Google Collab. So first I generated this uh, wonderful medieval warrior in mid-journey and I saved it to my Google Drive. I, I made this folder, I called it assets and I just put uh, this warrior here and then I recorded a video on my phone just just like a simple video with my uh, phone camera and actually the warrior is square and the video is a, a vertical so um, what i found the best results are if you have both square the video and the photo so i would go to uh, adobe.com express feature video crop and or you can go to my helper again and i have a link for you there so over here yes you can just press this link and it will take you to adobe express and i thought well probably the easiest way and i trust this company so i will just uh, use the crop for free and um, yeah and it takes a little bit of time but i found it's not too long compared to um, other applications and while while it's processing uh, maybe i'll go back to and i will show you that here we can first press it up and set uh, run anyway and we will just let it run and here we, our, our square video is um, ready and we'll just move it to assets. Yes, here it is. And I'll make sure that this folder, the sharing of this folder, if I press share, it's anyone with the link. So um, yeah, I will do that just in case and i will go back so when when collab runs you can see this kind of moving and when it stops you will see this green um, thing appear over here so first step setup is done which is great and now we will have second uh, step settings but before we do that we need to actually um, connect our Google Drive and it's quite easy in this latest uh, Google Collab so you just go over here and just press this folder and it will say uh, run the cell to mount your Google Drive and you press dismiss and then you'll have this cell appear and then you just press this error and, and just wait um, in my case it says drive already mounted because I've already used it before but for you probably it will ask you to um, to say that you accept everything and that it's mounted and you will know that it's mounted if you go if you see this folder it's called drive and this is your Google Drive so if I go in I will recognize all my folders and what I found, even though I called it assets, it's not alphabetical, so I will have to go and scroll down to find it. So yeah, here it is. So and here you see there is that image of medieval warrior over here, and then there is this video. So we need to change this two paths with, with those. And for that, we just press this three dots 
and copy path and this will go to um, our video yeah make sure it's an mp4 and here this is over here again press three dots and copy path and change an image path and again press um, paste and now you can just uh, run this let's just go down yes this is this this is it we will just press this and we will wait so if everything will go well it will uh, show our image just in a second so i watched actually uh, some tutorials on this and what i found um, every tutorial i watched it would just stop working it would show me errors and uh, i couldn't understand like why maybe something change, changed because google collabs often change and tutorials get um, kind of outdated pretty quickly uh, so sometimes when the error um, will happen what i found uh, we will have to delete a little bit of code but don't worry i will show you which code to delete and how 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 you shall do it it's not difficult you don't have to um, be a programmer but for now we are just waiting and here it is again you will see this like one minute and this green thing and it uh, uploaded our image and the video so now we will need to run this thin plate spline uh, motion model and here is where we kind of need to go into it and um, this is where I, 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 I had all the problems so uh, you see what I've done I just clicked this click this error and I had all the code or you can press show code and you will see all the code and so what you need to do is um, you can delete it or you can um, you can just use hash um, to kind of make it um, a comment but I think the easiest way would be just uh, just probably delete it. I would delete it. You don't need it really. And here, make sure that these predictions you put it at the very beginning of the of the code because uh, spaces mean something in Python. And if you just leave it uh, hanging over here, it will show you an error. So now you can just press this and it shall work without a problem. So yes, uh, every tutorial I watched, this was an issue and this is where it was a problem. And that's why I decided to record this tutorial because everyone was asking me how I did it. And I just couldn't share with you tutorials that I used because technically they weren't working 100%. Um, I, I would just constantly get errors and uh, I had to fix this part so but um, thankfully if you do if you delete it and then if you move this to the beginning of the line you will have a perfectly working um, script and when it's finished you will actually see uh, both of this uh, <laughs> images moving so here it is. It's surprisingly fast. Look how amazing it is. I just can't stop laughing and having fun with it. So now I'm going to just press this to output file and um, to just save it. What is also great and few people asked me about it, um, you can get more expressions, especially for people who make comic books. It's often an issue because it's so difficult to uh, generate different faces expressions. So here you can just generate a video and then you can uh, save frames. It actually has uh, this part called save frames. 
where you actually can save frames one by one and the quality I wouldn't say is it's very good but you can work on it you can upscale you can work on it and there are tutorials online I'm going to, to uh, put a link in the caption um, in, in, in that tutorial, it's a wonderful tutorial, it explains how you can train a model with those images, how you can improve those frames. Um, the only thing is the first part of the tutorial, this uh, collab, it just didn't work for me, it was constantly crashing and I suspect it's because it was recorded a couple of weeks ago and maybe something changed. Okay, so it finished and now we can just go to um, this file, we, we have kind of like video to X and you, you can go, just go to upsized and download it if you want. And now you can uh, do frames if you want, just if you, if you run this. Oh, in, in frames folder, so there shall be frames folder. Or you can, or, or you can leave them here, or you can save them one by one, and just to look what kind of like images. They're not a super cool quality, but uh, I think they are good enough for training a model if you want. And it's it just takes a video and kind of chops it into this. Um, images then if you want to improve your video you can run fix face with uh, GFP gun and it's it is it is a really really cool thing like it really improves the quality so you can just go to um, step 7 and recombine the video and again it will make you a video in a video folder and you can download that 